really, really hate airports. Especially this one, because I had some very heartbreaking <laughs> moments here. Oh, oh, oh shit. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. My parents are here. There's BFF helping me out in his fancy little Jeep. Is there more? Thanks for helping BFF. No problem. How does it feel to be back? Did How you enjoy that? your trip? How is the journey? It's brutal. I just make the mama happy. Hi, mother. Thank you. Oh, good. Hello. Ah, okay. Thank you. Oh, so I'll just come back with that then. Yeah. Okay. We're, so okay. we're what? We're gonna drop off the luggage at our house. Yeah, yeah. So Adrian can go home and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, but come by. I have something for you. But once we get our luggage. Oh, okay. no worries. No worries. <laughs> she she's picked me up at the airport before. Ah, uh, okay. There's where my heart was left and broken. <laughs> <laughs> You have, have you ever heard of like um, vlogs or video logs? Like vibe? Like a video diary. That's uh, what I do now. Oh Jesus. So one day when I'm old I'm gonna watch all my stuff from every day of my life. <laughs> and it's all on YouTube. <laughs> it's all for the world to see. I have no privacy. What is it on your so I can look at it? No, you're just gonna make fun of me. <laughs> So let it tell my viewers what we're doing now. We're going home. We're going to my house. We're going to Karen's house. Uh, Karen's parents just came from Paris. From Paris. Italia. Yes. So great. Hopefully. Uh, One day we should go on a road trip. Yes. All of us. And add to this diary <laughs> that's going on YouTube. Yeah. Cooking up the beefsteak that we marinated all night so it should be really good me and Lorena had a sample and it was pretty good see what my dad's doing he hasn't even been back for 15 minutes and he's already doing work he's installing the rear view mirror here my freaking gosh so I'm dry I'm about to go drive to seafood city right now to go get some fish for my mom and this lesbian girl jumps in front of my car good thing i was like freaking driving so slow and she's like run me over run me over right now oh my god like she jumped on top of my car and my hood and everything i am so drowsy sleepy we just got done watching gravity uh everybody is jet lagged so they're taking a nap so i'm gonna take advantage of this time and sleep on the couch because my room has been occupied by guests <laughs> it's okay Anyway, I think we're gonna go to AT&T for something, I don't even know, later, and yeah, so bye for now. <laughs> Okay, I see. Didn't learn how to put her clothes on as a child. Do a FaceTime feature with my baby girl, Sam, my baby cousin. Let's call her while I do her laundry. You ready? <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Sam. How's it going? Is it laggy? 
Uh, no, it's not bad. Hold on. Wait. How are you? Can you see me? Yeah. Did you cut your hair? I'm doing good. Yeah, I cut my hair. When? Uh, last, last Tuesday, I think. Last, last Tuesday. So, this is so weird. <laughs> tell me. Tell me some words of advice, of some words of encouragement for of your dorm or your room. This isn't my dorm. <laughs> <gasps> Whose are you in, you bad girl? I'm at my I'm at my friend's dorm. See. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun there. That's my words of encouragement. Have fun. Have fun. Don't sit at home and be a crabby old lady. <laughs> March, it's Judy time. That makes me even more sad. <laughs> it's Judy time. It's so great. Hey, Here, you want to say hi to my mom? Sure. <coughs> hi, Samo. She just got hi. back. Hi. She just got back from Paris today. Just woke up. Oh, my oh. God. So how's your life at school? It's good. Oh, look at you. You're a grown-up little girl. You're a little woman. <laughs> My connection is bad, so I'm going to end the vlog saying bye, guys. Bye. Okay, bye, everyone. We're at Target again. I'm going to get some stuff for the house. Per request of my mother, and I need some toothbrushes because I threw them all away because they were so disgusting. <laughs> because I hopelessly and depressingly love Seattle. Um, I don't know anything about light bulbs. A miniature baby rant. If you guys know me at all in real life, you would know that my hair is pretty much my life. It's like, call it a security blanket, call it whatever you want, but if something were to happen to my hair, I would cease to exist, literally. And I was so traumatized, and then it's been almost six years, and this is where I'm at now. It's like to my hip my hip here and oh so it's it's been a long long journey my hair and I it's gone we've gone through some tough times together but the thing is it wasn't easy getting here my hair is naturally very fluffy very frizzy and I have learned to love it to accept that it. it's just the thing and the way I got here was through, I had to change everything, everything in my hair routine. I used to just use whatever, you know, random suave shampoo, and I was really into like Infusium 23, which they hardly really have stock of nowadays, I don't know why, but um, so I really started to take care of my hair, you know, I did research, I realized that, um, Harsh chemicals, like in your normal drugstore brands, have a lot of alcohol and sulfates. So I would I searched high and low for the perfect shampoo that wasn't salon like wasn't a salon shampoo because it was breaking the bank, you know. So I found one, and it was the Ever Pure Ever or the Ever Sleek Ever Strong, whichever one by L'Oreal. And it's sulfate free, it's vegan, it has no alcohol, and that was my love. It's my love. It's, to this day, that's what we're using. So we're kind of running low now. So I went to Target. I'm, at, I'm still at Target. And I went to go and look for some, and it's gone. It's gone. Because they had a big sale, and all the extreme couponers went and bought all of them, all their stock. And like, what are these extreme couponers going to do with all this sulfate-free shampoo? And on a normal basis, really no one uses this shampoo because it smells like toothpaste. Like, literally, it smells like mint. It's rosemary. And 
all of a sudden it's all gone and I know the extreme couponers took it because my friends are extreme couponers on Instagram and I've seen them and they've bought them all and I'm like really really what are you gonna do with that just stockpile it in your garage till it rots I mean cosmetics only has a certain um, shelf life okay it doesn't last forever so I'm just like man let other people enjoy it too, okay? So anyway, enough about that. I so I just clicked like this, um, what would you call it? Like peanut bit? It's not really, but it is so good. Oh. Carlo feels like a million bucks. I'll see you later. 10, 9, 12, <gasps> she planned it. 13, 14, 15. 14, 15, huh? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, for there's no intention that we will split up because your mom and your dad went upstairs and then they need to come back inside because it was <laughs> uh -huh. no, we don't know where to go. It's so huge. I mean, there is no proper direction. so huge. So you guys are late. <laughs> You guys are late? Yeah, yeah. we're late. I can't wait to hear Tito Renee's story. He's probably gonna be like, Oh, they were like this looking around. <laughs> oh my god, I look terrible. It was Nikki preparing. Oh, my burger is good. Yeah. Oh, which one did you get? Which one are you eating? The. I got the one with. I don't know. You should, is this one, this Not is the, the lettuce, the other one. Oh, the yeah. bacon inside bacon, it. That one's yeah. good. Oh, no, this one right here is good. That, that one, one got bacon in it? Bacon inside the meat. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. How's the foods? The very food good. is very good. Excellent, senor. I'm, I'm, you know, like, waiting to eat this kind of food. Uh, for how many weeks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we ain't had no food like this. Italiano. But where is Darren's, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, seasoning. No, there's another seasoning. Chicken wing. No seasoning. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the guy from the Philippines with the, the mustache, like, the, the hero. Hi, guys. Just wanted to say goodnight. Uh, the whole daylight savings time thing is throwing me off. I, li I swear, I think it's like a lot earlier than it really is and I should really go to sleep. It's almost two and I still have to load, edit, and load this vlog so it's ready for tomorrow. Oh, good night my friends. Forgot my pit and peak. My pit would definitely be obviously that girl who jumped in front of my car um, and she was trying to kill herself. I felt so bad afterwards i really felt like i should have stayed and made sure she was okay but she was just very very angry and out of control like she was gonna scratch me so long story short um we called the police hopefully she's okay um love makes you do crazy crazy thing it's just makes me hurt for her because you know I've been through that kind of devastatingly painful sad kind of breakups but it must be so bad to a point for someone to want to end their lives you know and so when I got home I just did a little prayer for her I hope she's okay I hope whatever they're going through they get through it because Life is a beautiful thing. You don't want to end it just because someone, just because of someone. All right, guys, for reals. And, oh, my peak, obviously. My peak would be food. So the, that vegetable thing I made was so good. My God. And my parents coming back was a great big peak today. The thing I made today was just so good. I've never made anything that tasted so good in my life. And I didn't even have any onions or garlic to put in it. It was like straight up vegetable goodness. 